Darknet is the PSVR game that places you inside a virtual representation of the internet. Using nothing but your brain and a bit of software, you must hack your way to financial fortune. But is this just another thrown together piece of shitware, or is it worth the tenor? Hi, I'm Ryan at 3i Gaming, and this is the review of Darknet on the PlayStation VR. Nothing quite makes the eyes of gamers roll like a game built on the premise of hacking. Having said that, this is PSVR, and as of yet, hacking has remained an untrodden path. How could this game possibly be fun to play? Look at it. It looks like what I'd imagine diamond collecting space spiders webs look like. All neon and glassy looking with pulsating tubes of light. But this is apparently the internet, and we are in it. The game actually looks surprisingly beautiful when you have the headset on. Darknet is one of those games that suffers from the two dimensional shortcomings of flat screen video. The perspective in this game really makes it look a lot more organised in the headset than this footage would actually have you believe. Firstly, you interact with this game using the DualShock 4, and the tracking is very good on this one. You have a laser pointer shooting out of the light bar, and you effortlessly point it at what you want to select, just like in Tumble VR. The idea of this game is to hack nodes. Each node is a little puzzle. The bigger, the more protected the node, the harder the puzzle is. So far, simple. The puzzle is beaten by strategically selecting a blue defence node to hack with the virus that allows the virus to spread to the core before it touches another defence node. Once you have that node captured, you're rewarded with cash and it decreases the defences of the nodes that surround it to allow you to more easily hack them, so strategy plays a big role. The puzzle aspect of the game is actually pretty fun. A little repetitive at times and too easy to begin with, but eventually the game will have you working up a frantic sweat when you're against the clock. There's also a bunch of exploits that you can purchase that all work pretty well. You can buy more viruses for example for multi-pronged attacks on a core, and hydras allow connected undefended nodes to just be auto-hacked to save you time and earn some quick cash. Overall, Darknet is really quite good. It's not a life-changing experience by any means, but it's very pleasant to be inside. It looks really nice and crisp. The gameplay is not too intense, but a nice way to get a cerebral workout in a totally alien feeling digital matrix of networks and stuff. So if you've got a spare tenor and you're up for a bit of a challenge and something new, give this one a go. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. See you next time. Goodbye.